Okay, well, we are on our way of being done, and if you are new to Minecraft, this wonderful little guy right here that I've got boxed in is called a Enderman. Now, you see the little crosshair that's on the middle of my screen? I can look at this Enderman all day like this, but until my crosshair actually crosses him, it's not considered being, not considered looking at him. So... <sighs> I have enrolled a new pet here, the Petaraman, I'll call him, because he was busy spying on me, um, to kind of just sit there and do absolutely nothing. Uh, we have been busy, as you can see, uh, and what I'm doing here is I'm just simply going two blocks, because I've got a lot of glowstone, to, I told you I was going to the nether, back to the nether. So I went back to the nether and I got myself some glowstone. Uh, well, you know, you have to remake your glowstone. But I just went ahead and made glowstone, uh, you know, glowstone blocks. And uh, then we're going to use those to light the place up because the place is so big. So show ya, shows ya. And of course, I did. I do have my pickaxe, my diamond pickaxe. Should I run into diamond, I can easily take care of that. Why does that look wrong? No, that's right. So I have to light this up because I've been dealing with a constant amount of. Oh hell no! You 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 are not you are not allowed. You no. Bad, bad, bad Enderman. You took the block. No, no Enderman. Go back. Go back to your cage. Go back to your cage. He's done this like three times. Go back to your cage. Oh, shit. Oh, gonna give me a minute. I gotta, tell you, I gotta put him down. Gotta put him down. Come on. Come on. But gotta put you down. Yeah, he's shooting it all across the screen. <laughs> well, he hung out with me for a little while. Until he got bored, I guess. Oh, well. I'll take away his cage. But if you did not know, Endermen take blocks uh, from around the area. And, uh, well, he was taking uh, some of my cobblestone blocks. And I was like, oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, you're not. So, yeah. Well, well. At least I don't have to look, you know, be cautious about where I'm looking now. Anyways, I'm putting the glowstone in because... What the hell was I doing here? Oh, I'm going to have to break this one. Uh... Because we need, um, we need light, bottom line, but we also need a way to keep it so we're not using so many torches. There we go. Okay, that's even. And glowstone lights are generally like torches, but a bit cheaper because, hmm, sorry about that. It's a bit cheaper because we don't have to worry about, uh, using coal and sticks. We can just basically go get them from the nether and rock on so yeah mm, we'll skip this one right here gotta keep it trying to like I said we're trying to keep enough light in here to uh, not have the little bad boys spawn on us I've already had a couple of creepers uh, I did resort to getting TNT and blowing the hell up out of this area so I did lose a lot of cobblestone in doing that but I did get the better chance of getting it done uh, cause I don't know when I'll be, you know, back on. And I want to make sure we make it look good before I leave. Right? Right. So. I got five, five of these left. I know I've got more. This should do. So we need, how many more? One, two, three? Three more? Three more. See how that's nicely lit? Okay, we won't lose any light taking this one down. And we won't lose any light. Uh, I'm not worried about the top as much as I am worried about the bottoms. So that's not bad. Now the reason why I'm doing it like this is because we're going to have our items going down. And I think I screwed this up already. Uh, I think I did. I think I was supposed to take this one out. Yep. I'll fix this. Just give me one second, guys. Uh, but I'm having it as a stairway 
because I want to be able to basically have everything go down in a downwards motion. And to do that, you have to, of course, you have to downstairs it like like so. I am leaving a three-block radius for the um, for the piping or for well for the hoppers, essentially. And that's going to be a challenge into itself because I'm not sure how many hoppers I'm actually going to need. Yeah, might as well pull. Might as well do it like this and be done with it. Daggum it. Ugh. No, actually. Let me think about this real quick. Carts are going to come in. One cart. And two cart. Okay. And then it's going to have to pipe. Or no. Yeah, it'll have to pipe. It'll pipe it in. Together. And then run down this way. Okay. So yeah, we need to get rid of this one. My bad, guys. My bad. Trying to get things on a grander scale by yourself is pretty complicated. If you haven't noticed by now. We need to get rid of this. Oh, well, we got might as well break them too. Might as well break them, get them over with. We need to shovel for that. Here, shovel. Oh wow, you can actually break them with the shovel too. Hey, wait, can I gotta check something, guys? I'm in adventure mode. Okay, I I have to caution myself sometimes because it's like, how the hell do you break? I mean, is it considered glass, perhaps? You know, I don't know. It's just weird. Because in adventure mode, you're not supposed to be able to do this, you know. Okay, so that means we need to go... Actually... You know what? Let's just... We're screwing around wasting time. Let's get the uh, glowstone lamp... Glowstone... Uh, redone real quick. Do that. We just make a square... Just keep going around and around and around and around. Uh, actually, you know what would have been better if I had just done it like this. Okay, 18. Nah, nah, that should give us 16. No, it gave us 9. Hmm, it's weird. Obviously, my math is wrong as hell. So we'll skip. Okay, so we'll skip that that block because I have a sneaky that area because I have a sneaky suspicion I'm going to need it uh okay so yeah that'll work it's a nice lit glue glowing area I'll get some scaffolding done clean that all up later um so yeah that's pretty much done there got that all nice and accomplished uh Devin oh I want to show you this I uh I figured out I might as well just go ahead and get a automatic fur fur furnace system going there we go so here's what I did if uh, how am I gonna do this uh, we'll take this one this one this one okay there we go yeah we can we'll we'll put it all back we'll put it all back I promise okay so first off I'll explain this redstoning later um, as you can see uh oh this ain't good uh oh crap 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 uh, shoot 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 now where'd that redstone go cuz that's important to have the redstone put back okay so on the back side you have it and you can go look the tutorials up for an automatic furnace I took out uh, some people are putting furnaces on both sides of the uh, furnace or hoppers I'm sorry hoppers on both sides of the furnaces I don't what I did was is I actually took the furnace and stuck it to the back or took the hopper and stuck it to the back side of the furnace so where us see let's see if we can get this and we'll use put this here and we'll throw that in okay so just real quick there's your furnace right 
okay? So instead of putting it on the side like they mostly do, like this, and then they, some people, you know, put them hoppers on them like that. Uh, I can't afford that as far as resources are concerned. So what I did is I sat there and I figured it out in my test world. You put a furnace in the back, that will supply. Do I have any chests? I don't have any chests. Okay, let's just pretend that this block, this cobblestone block is a chest, okay? Now that is going to supply this portion, okay? It's going to supply the bottom. Alright, now all you have to do next is take a hopper, put it on top, okay? and take your chest you know whichever way you want to face it or whatever there we go and put it on top of there now I don't know if somebody's already made this design or whatnot I don't take any credit for it I just kind of figured an a easier step to doing it but now what will happen is anytime you put coal up here it will automatically go into the top and that uh, to finish the job all you really gotta do is take a hopper uh, uh, well essentially you'd have to start you build your hopper up basically okay so you would go like this you would put your let's say this was the cobblestone whoops yeah the cobblestone was your chest okay Ah. Yeah, there we go. And you put your hopper into your chest like that, okay? And then you put your furnace on top of it on top of it. And then you simply take your hopper uh, and you put it into the furnace. So now you won't ever have to really worry about well, you'll have to worry about fueling it eventually. But you won't have to worry about fueling it for a long, long time because I've got like skadoodles of coal, so I've got uh, all the coal in the back is just lined up. Um, and all you do is just right click, whoops, you right click the, the chest, of course, and you bring it in, it'll go in, and it'll automatically go to the top here. Your coal will automatically be dispensed, so every time you use a piece of coal, you'll have 64 coal all the time, and then when it's done over here it'll drop into your chest so uh, in total it takes three hoppers one furnace and three chests and this is just for furnace this is just for the furnacing okay it's not for the not for the automatic so the best way to show you is to demonstrate so let's see we got stuff in there I'm using this as a, my, as a storage system too for the time being so we'll put we'll put iron in here okay so you see the irons going down iron goes into the top right here there's coal that's already being fed and give it just a few seconds oh we already should have one already in there and voila we have one in there now this doesn't require any powering the hoppers it doesn't require any power converting okay the reason why the redstone is there the down here is to light there's a daylight sensor up top. I, I got a bunch of quartz, so I figured I might as well just go ahead and use it. I'm down here, so let's say Ren's minimap wasn't there, okay? So I have no freaking clue what's going on up top. You just invert the power, and you can go look that up. It's very easy. It's basically redstone on the, on the, on the thing you want to power, put a block, and then put a redstone torch behind it, and it will turn off the torch, okay? When there's no power to the red sen to the se daylight sensor, the daylight sensor will turn off, which essentially turns on the redstone torch. And I do this while I'm using my hands and realizing that we cannot see each other. So best thing to do is kind of show you, right? Right? Okay. Ah, damn it! Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, so I believe it's off. I think it's off. Damn it. Thought I took care of that. There we go. So yeah, see, it's daylight now. So this is, po this is powered. Okay? 
It uh, is this no this yeah the sensor has got has got this redstone powered. Okay, when it becomes night, oh, I'll show you. I'll cheat this one time for you guys. When it becomes night, this powers on. Okay, thus turning on. Get up there. Get up there. Thus turning on our lights. Now I haven't figured out how to hook these up, so that's why there's just glowstone there. And I may not. It kind of looks, kind of looks nice like that. To be truthful with you, and I've got this half slabs here and half slabs up top, so that it's easier for us to ma get to maintenance if we have to. And of course, as always, if we have to get back here, as you saw me do before, you just simply, you know, add it, get this put back, and we are a half slab up from the um, redstone, so we're not affecting the redstone. Say right here, if we place the block, it cuts the power, and we. We don't want that. We don't want to cut power. We want to keep it on. So the best thing to do is just to have that little that little area. Because if you if you did this, okay, and I don't have any more half slabs. Let me go get some half slabs real quick. I I want to try this with you just in case. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, that'd be enough. It took the half slabs. I don't know if this is going to work or not. So this. Because when I built this, I was, it took about two hours to get the damn thing built. If you did this, this, that would work. Actually, would that work? Is it still on? No, it is not on because it cut the power. So you cannot do that. Okay, now did it come back on? Whoops. Yes, it cut the power. Okay. So there you go. There's your, there's the boom, 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 boom. Now, what I would really like to know is if I were to, and I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try. If I were to, ha no, I don't think it is. Let me see. Ha nope, no, ha can't half slap it. Oh, well, I tried. But uh, I tried to make it as compact as I could to uh, alleviate any chances of, say, a monster that was in the wrong spot. A monster or anything like that to uh, to spawn. And a crap ton of half slabs. This is all half slab, just in case. Uh, <laughs> so it's daylight now. Because the lights are off, so that's how I know. And again, you just invert it. And the, invert the power, and then that's how that works. So... Now that we've got this done, I'll, well, we got a few pieces here and there still lingering, but we'll get. And like I said, I'll clean. I'll clean up the top portion. The important part is getting things organized. Yeah, there's monsters all in this area for some reason. Is it daytime? I can't. Yeah. Is it daytime or is it nighttime? I'm a little worried. I may cut some. I may have cut the power off to certain areas. Uh oh, it's nighttime. I've done something wrong. Uh oh, let me go look at this real quick. Okay, I just for forgotten to put the redstone back down. That's it's quite all right. Oh well. Now we've got we've got four green dots up there I'm wondering uh, let's go check that out now for now I'm using the simple ores uh, nether ore nether rock um, mod and uh, this is where this it's called the illuminating uh, sword and if you use this sword it gives you night vision so the animals love hanging around here for some reason I'm gonna check this out Huh. Well, there's my three. There's my one who's stuck. And then you got one in there. Where's my other guy? Hey, where's the other guy at? Don't screw around. Where's he at? I only see two. Oh, crap. Oh, there we are. Okay. Hey, guys. How you doing? Just making sure you're still alive. Where did that fourth bolt green one come from? Maybe I was... 
Yeah, it was looking at it weird. Uh, yeah, anyways, so that's what's been going on. Uh, the next thing for me to do is to start making hoppers, start cutting down trees, getting planks made, getting chests made, redstone compactors. Uh, what do you call them? Um, oh lord. I can't remember what they're called. What are they called? They're, um, repeaters. There we go. <laughs> I knew as soon as I looked at it, I would figure it out. Uh, repeaters. Getting the repeaters in place. By the way, this is a crafting book. Uh, getting the repeaters in, uh, then we can get started on the item sorting. And how exactly and where exactly we're going to be putting it. So, until next time, guys. Appreciate everything you do. Hit the likes, comment button. As always, I don't do this for money. I do this for free. So, please... Go ahead and bash as much as you want. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. Oh, I forgot. I gotta put glass. I'm gonna make this all glassy. Make it look pretty. Yeah. So that way when you're when you're walking through, and I'm actually thinking about hiding this railroad too. Uh, when you're walking through, you can look and see inside. Just like uh, <coughs> excuse me. Just like over here, with um, with the uh, automatic furnaces. And I know there's coal there. Uh, you're going to be able to see right through it. So just in case. So anyways, guys. There's the five coal or five iron. Let me turn this off. There's the five iron. Um, that's all I got. So uh, next time you see me, we'll probably be doing something with... Um, with um hoppers and stuff yeah so oh yeah this is the chest I dump all my stuff in for now eventually we'll have it where we're all sorted that's the one problem I'm going to run into and I have to sit here and think about it for a little while how am I going to handle cobblestone because there's going to be a bunch of cobblestone no matter what and I'm thinking I may have to make a separate room just for cobblestone probably underneath this maybe or possibly another room going into the wall i'm not sure yet anyways thanks for watching bye